So how about pre-ordering two of them? You know, like buy two and then you display her differently. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven with your weekly figure news fix. This time around 20th to 25th of May 2024. This week, we have so many great stuff. Like, it is quite rare for me to have multiple figures that I am very interested in pre-ordering in one single week. But this is one of those weeks, right? There is everything. Azalane, Arknights, Blue Archive, Marine Kitagawa. There is something for everyone. Wow. <laughs> this is a great week. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into Hobby Link Japan, our affiliate partner for the genuine figures first before we check out the third parties later. And I have chosen the figures I want to cover this week. We have both great and terrible figures as well this week, right? Okay, let's begin with 1x4 skill which was completely predictable and... Yeah, uh, we have Shaltier, Blood Fallen, Barney version from Overlord, 35,000 yen by freeing at 1x4 skill December release. Oh, so this is December now. The previous two weeks, I complained about how freeing needed only 5 months to get Albedo out. I think Al Albedo was in October release. If I wasn't mistaken, now they have pushed Shaltier back to December. Anyways, uh, someone have commented in my channel. I mean, in my Facebook post, my bad. Someone has commented in my post saying that white color is not Sheltia's color, like her team color, and I agree. Even though I don't know Overlord that much, like based on figures of her from, from other brands, be it 1x7, 1x6 skill, white color is not her team color. So once again, this feels like, you no know, uh, laziness on free ink's part. Like they are doing very little to make the figures attractive over here just because Overlord fans would buy it. Sheltier is the only one single 1x4 skill this week. There is another binding figure in Ami Ami later. We move on to the next one, 1x6 skill Destiny Child, Snowfall Gorilla. Yeah, I'll just call her Gorilla at this point. There's one single O missing from the spelling of her name by Cosmos Sora Studio coming out this December at almost 27,000 yen. You know this figure was already on pre-order uh, in third-party uh, resin figure websites almost two weeks ago, yeah, it was listed as early back then, but I wanted to group everything, like all of the genuine figures, licensed figures together under this HLJ section, which is why I haven't covered her until now. Now, Cosmos Sora is a name I have never heard of, yeah, but with this kind of pricing, 27k and 1x6 scale, it has to be a Japanese figure brand, right? Has to be. <laughs> Admittedly, I should have done my homework beforehand, but every week you watch me doing this figure news fix, I can tell you that most of the time it is my first time reacting to these figures. Like, I haven't looked at this figure in detail beforehand. So it is like raw, first time looking at them, first time reacting to them. Yeah, <laughs> raw reactions over here. Okay, Destiny Child, mm, how do I put it? This name sounds really familiar to me, like, it has to be a very well-known game, right? I'm not much of a gamer, which is why I don't know much about characters like this. Uh, at first glance, it almost feels like any other Azalean character in a way. Yeah, that is what it feels like to me. But given the amount of stuff going on with this figure and how detailed she looks, I think 27k is somewhat reasonable. Maybe it is on the slightly expensive side of things, but I wouldn't call it overpriced, right? Mm. I really wanted to scroll through every picture, including the close-up detail shots to show you guys, but apparently nowadays women are no longer allowed to have big breasts because that is equivalent to adult content and YouTube does not like it. Yeah, it is ridiculous, seriously. Okay, uh, go and check out the figure yourself and... We haven't had many Destiny Child figures so far, so this might be potentially a very good buy. Personally, I do like the character a lot, and I would say that a figure I pre-ordered recently, which is Volume from Nikkei, she is somewhat similar to this, just that she has more clothes on, right? Yeah. Moving on to the next one over here. Now, this is one of the prettiest figures by Belfine in a very long time. I like it so much, but at the same time... <laughs> Yeah, uh, a lot of you guys commented the same thing even over at my Facebook page saying that you don't 
trust their quality control. That is the most unfortunate part about this figure over here because, man, I would really love to have one and I wouldn't mind having this as my very first bell fine figure if not for that asking price of 27,000 yen at 1x7 skill which is really expensive. Yeah, uh, from Guilty and Punish, Punish illustration by Ano Ano. This is a very pretty illustration, man. Seriously. The color scheme of this character, this figure over here, it almost feels like it is aimed at the female audience, at the girls. The girls love their pink, their lavender colors, you know. Except that, you know, this is for guys when she barely has any clothes on and she is also partially customable. Yeah. I mean, think about it. When you were seven or eight years old, you said that Ew, Barbie are for women, for little girls, and then as you grow up into an adult, you are the one going out buying female figures. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next one over here. Okay, from Summertime Rendering, finally, like, this has been shown to us since Wonder Festival last year. Finally, she is on pre-order. Ushio Kofune at 1x7 skill by Good Smile, only 15,200 yen. Coming out January next year. Right, so uh, this is a very plain and simple figure and in many ways, this is so similar to an upcoming Blue Archive figure I'm about to cover but this is more expensive than the Blue Archive figure somehow. Like, is Summertime Rendering's uh, licensing cost more expensive? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is 15k. I would say that it is even on the slightly expensive side of things, even though this is only 15k, this feels like a 12,000 yen figure. Maybe I'm just being a cheapskate. I always am, right? But for those of you who loved the anime, I think the anime was great. This pair of figures is not a bad purchase. Yeah. And of course, for the male counterpart over there, the guy over there, Shinpei Ajiro, going for the same price and releasing in the same month as well, January 2024. I'm actually surprised that Good Smile went all the way out to make skill figures of this pair of figures because this is the kind of anime characters which I would expect Pop Up Parade instead. Yeah, maybe Pop Up Parade L, not necessarily the smaller ones, but still, to see them go all out making skill figures, there has to be a justification for it. Like, maybe they did their own service in Japan and the feedback was very favorable, maybe. Yeah. Moving on to the next one, okay, uh, this looks like something that has been released before. Uh, Idol Master Cinderella Girls U149 Arisu Tachibana Memorial Edition. Must be the same figure Plum released a number of years ago, and now they are re-releasing it with a slight change. This looks very familiar, yeah. So after a small discount from 21k down to 19,000 yen by PM Office A, that is Plum's new name by the way. August release very soon. I think I'm quite confident this figure came out before because partly because of that August release timeline over there that is like three months away. Yeah, they already have the mold or maybe the figure is already in production even before they began taking pre-orders. Must have for Idol Master collectors, I suppose. Nowadays, we don't get as many iMask figures as in the past. Moving on to the next one. Okay, this pair of figures over here, they are among the worst figures on pre-order this week and also possibly the worst sword art online skill figures I've seen. <laughs> I know I'm being really brutal over here with my assessment of this pair of figures but especially with Asuna's face, I have no idea what is going on but I'm sorry and so toys, this is... I mean, <laughs> this pair of figures when you look at them, two 1x7 skills as a set at 39k is not expensive. That means less than 20,000 yen each. But they are cheap for a reason somehow. Like, what is up with Asuna's face, man? Uh, let me see if I can enlarge the image. Let's open it in a new tab. Okay, so this is the largest we get to see. There is something not right with the face. I'm not sure if it is the nose or the mouth, like, you know, uh, the human skull, the human face is divided into three segments. We call it V1, V2, and V3. V1 is basically uh, uh, above the eyes, and then V2 is your eye and your nose, and V3 is the mouth region, your jaw, basically. So I 
it feels like somewhere in between the V2 and V3 of the face over here. This is medical term, by the way. Now, between V2 and V3 section of the face, there is something not quite right with it, but I'm not sure where to pinpoint. But the face does not look like Asuna that much. Yeah, I mean, you just compare this to any Asuna figure made by Eastream, Shibuya Scramble figure or Alter, you can see the difference. There is something not right over here. And yeah, I cannot recommend this at all. It is not like Asuna figures are hard to come by. There are so many choices out there and they are not exactly that rare. Pick your favorite, right? Okay, so of course you can buy them separately for 19,800 yen. But regardless of whether you're buying the set or individually, I can't recommend this pair of figures. Yeah. Moving on to the next one, we have three fabulous Azulane figures this week. All three are great, man. This one by Good Smile Company with Trishire summary date, basically uh, bikini or beach outfit going for 20,500 yen only. With that bench over there or, or hammock, whatever it is called. Man, this is great value, man. Like recently, Good Smile Company has been given giving us so much excellent value despite the depreciating Japanese yen, yet they did not increase their price too much. Yeah, I love that. I'm loving that so much, man. Mm, so, yeah, Alter has a Trishire figure, but that is more like 30,000 yen, right, in her long mid like dress. That was amazing as well, but if your budget isn't that high, this is an excellent alternative. Like, yeah. I know Alto is probably the industry standard for Azulian figures, but this is not a bad alternative at all. This looks great, man. Moving on to the next Azulian figure over here. I would say this is the best of the week for Azulian figures. Uh, we have 1x6 skill, A gear from any game, 24,000 yen, any game Chinese brand, but 1x6 skill with all that prop, all that uh, diorama. She is sitting on for 24k, that is great. Yeah, that is great value as well. Uh, coming out in June next year. Yep. Uh, and uh, any game, <laughs> any game, they are really taking their sweet time. Like they are not too far off from Japanese brands. When they are taking pre-orders, they make you wait an average one year. Yeah, every Azalean figure they have placed on pre-order recently has a similar pattern: average one year wait, and that is not a bad thing because. I would prefer a perfect product coming out after a one year wait rather than a rushed up product in six months maybe. So if you were pretty disappointed by that Agia figure by the other Chinese brand, what was the name again? The one that came with a giant box? <laughs> Regardless of whether you bought the standard or the deluxe version. Yeah, I mean, if you did not like that one, you're not happy with this one, this is a very good alternative. Yeah. I am loving this one a lot and I am trying my best to resist buying anything related to Azalane because FGO and also Victory, a Goddess Victory of Nikkei is really draining my wallet dry. I have several Nikkei, so Nikkei figures on pre-order, seriously. <laughs> Moving on to the next one over here, the third one from Azalane as well, Taiho Rose Colored Celebration version by Mietos. Now this one, at 27k is beginning to feel on the expensive side for Chinese brand. I know that Mietos is quite an established figure brand by now from China, one of the best even, but 27k for this even if she comes with a couch is a bit much. Yeah, this is no different pricing from Japanese brands anymore. I can see Apex Toys encroaching into this kind of pricing as well. Uh, maybe in three years, two years, you'll see, right? Like the established brands, they know they are good enough to ask for that much already. My least favorite for the three Azalin figures I just covered, but not to say she is bad looking, she isn't. Just that even with the red couch or sofa, this is looking a bit plain to me. Yeah. Moving on to the next one over here, we have Blue Archive 1x7 skill Miyako swimsuit version. By good smile, only 11,000 yen. Yeah, this is the figure I was talking about. Like, this was, this is not too different from that summertime rendering figure earlier, but this is only 11k. Which is why I said that figure earlier should cost 12k, not 15k. <laughs> yeah, this girl is short, I know. I could, I can tell from these product pictures alone, this is a short character, but still. 
Mm, this feels like a slightly better price figure in a way, but it will be way better than any pop upgrades for sure. For Blue Archive fans, pick one up, right? This looks great. Uh, and Good Smile, please do a bit more shading on her belly region just to emphasize her body curves. Yeah, but I would love to see some shading over there. Please, Good Smile. Otherwise, this is great looking already. And speaking of Blue Archive, the anime adaptation, unfortunately, I am not really enjoying it that much. I mean, it is fine, but it feels rather mid in a way. Yeah, I'm buying it for the character design alone. I have always been like that. Like, I buy anime figures just because I like the character design. I don't care whether I know the character or not. Moving on to the next figure, to me, this is the main highlight of the week simply because this was totally unexpected. Like, Alter has always been the kind of company who focuses on, you know, uh, game characters that are long lasting. Like, that game is famous and popular. It has been around for many years. I mean, I. Azalane, FGO, and so on. You guys saw it yourself, what they have been coming up with lately. And when they do pick up figures from anime series, the anime has to be insanely popular with many seasons, such as Sword Art Online or Dead Alive, right? So to see them pick up Marine Kitagawa wasn't something I expected, even if the anime was wildly popular. Yeah, but... Obviously, there is money to be made, right? So, Alter wants a slice of the Marin Kitagawa profit pie. So, here we are today. We have a 1x6 skill. Very nice. 1x6 skill figure of Marin Kitagawa in Lee's cosplay. I call it Sakuba's cosplay, personally. And this one goes for almost 26,000 yen coming out in March next year. Now, 26,000 yen may seem kind of pricey even if this is a 1x6 skill because, you know, sitting post figures are not very big to begin with. But, oh, she comes with an extra hit without her cosplay wig and even different pose for her hands. And I'm loving this pose as well. So how about pre-ordering two of them? You know, like, buy two and then you display her differently, I believe. That is Alto's intention over here. Like, they include all these extra parts for not too much extra money, and then that will convince you guys to buy two units per person. Yeah, uh, that is pretty smart from a business standpoint. Pretty smart. And to say that I'm not interested in pre ordering, I would be lying. But for me, I would say one single figure is enough, though I would be struggling to decide which to display with. So, in case I do decide to pre-order this one, my plan is to get only one single figure from Alter, and then I will, I will pre-order a second one from Spirit Tail, the one that is still in prototype stage, not yet on pre-order. So, what I'll do is, I'll display the Spirit Tail version with the uh, Succubus cosplay, and then with the Alter version, I'll display her in this form over here. What do you think? I think that is a very sound plan, right? Yeah, so I would say I believe that after I have shared with you guys my plan over here, some of you might follow my style. Like, why would you even buy two units of the very same figure just to display them ever so slightly differently? Why not get two different figures from two different brands and then you get more variety as well? Yeah, that is the plan, I think. So anyways, 26k for the amount of stuff you're getting and coming from Alta, one of the best figure brands out there. Yeah, pick one up, pre-order it. Just solely from the head sculpt of the figure alone, the head sculpt, the face and everything, this is already way better than the Good Smile Company version that was released recently in her bikini, right? But that one, to be fair, cost half as much as this one. Yeah, so you get what you pay for. Moving on to the next one, oh boy. <laughs> I wanted to pre-order Marin Kitagawa and I also wanted this one badly because of the amount of details going on with this figure. Yeah, Nikkei is making me really scared, making my wallet really scared. So we have Scarlet from Goddess of Victory Nikkei at 1x7 skill by Good Smile, almost 23,000 yen. Oh, great pricing again, man. Coming out in May next year. Now, I would say, if you love the character design, hit that pre-order button. I love it so much. 
there are so many FGO figures I have not purchased yet, but I really need to diversify. And I am loving this, man. Woo! Oh, and this photograph over here makes her look even better. No complaints at all. She looks fantastic. Pre-order it. Yeah. Moving on to the next one. Oh, now we have Ark Knights from Mietos. 1x7 skill, CV Light Eterna. Teresa King of Sarkas. Okay, uh, 27,000 yen. Yeah, expensive, I know. But she looks amazing. That is for sure. Coming out this December. Mm. Oh boy, you just have to love the paint work on her hair, man. I mean, look at the gradient work from the almost white color on top of her head and then you slowly go down it goes into medium gray dark gray with some brown color accent even some purple in her hair oh i just love paints work like this this is what i look for in many anime figures yeah the gradient work on her hair that is freaking fabulous mm. I know that I, uh, I might be a bit unfair towards Mietos over here, like, just because they are Chinese, I'm saying they shouldn't ask for that much. But, I mean, if their quality is rivaling Japanese brands or even better than that, I think they totally have the rights to ask for that much, you know? Like, if you know that you are really good at something, maybe better than many other people in the same industry, you wouldn't price yourself too low, right? When it comes to offering or services or product. Yeah, so maybe I'm being unfair towards Mietos over here, but we'll see. I think this one, going for 27k, makes more sense than that Azalean figure earlier that, uh, yeah, the one on the couch earlier, what was the name again? Because that figure felt rather plain, this one at least has a lot of stuff going on for the asking price. Mm. Alright, let's move on to the next figure over here. Oh, this really looks like Batch, uh, Batch from from Azalin. Really looks like her. Like the outfit, character design, color scheme, everything is so similar. Are they from the same artist? If yes, let me know down in the comments below. I suspect that it is from the same artist. Just like, you know, uh, Hobby Sakura's uh, Pink Bunny Girl or something like that. I think Super Bunny or Pink Bunny something. Very similar to a Nikkei character, you know? Yeah, that is what I'm thinking over here. So this one is Nano Hana Hoshi Illustrated by Starcat Limited Edition with bonus 23,000 yen. Yeah, you get a wall scroll over there if you're not interested in a wall scroll. 21,000 yen as usual. For those of you who did not get uh, any games batch figure from Azalein, maybe this is the next best thing as a replacement. I think that if you if you are able to buy this figure in stock after release in Taobao, this might be cheaper over in China compared to over here in Japanese websites because I get the feel over here that this figure is a bit too simple to be 21,000 yen, should be lower than that and yeah, must be regional pricing again. China is cheaper than Japan for China, Chinese brand figures. Moving on to the next one, we have a original character John uh, 1x6 scale John Soon illustration. Swimsuit Hoodie Misaki by Union Creative at 21,000 yen coming out in January next year. Yeah, way too plain, too simple to be my kind of figure. This is partially customable. You can remove her pink color hoodie. Yeah, but overall, there's nothing, there's nothing much going on. Right? Not my kind of figure. Too simple for my taste. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that when I've just reviewed that 1x4 skill Konata figure a few days ago, which is once again a very plain and simple figure. I'm buying that simply because it was really cheap, right? Moving on to the next one, original character again by Omaha, Chinese figure brand. Uh, 1x6 skill Bonita Chan, 25,700 yen. And yeah, this is partially castable. I'm not sure if I can show you guys the pictures at all. I feel like I'm looking at a very busty Amelia from ReZero. And secondly, that that stool she is kneeling against, man, that is so small. <laughs> like that stool over there is too small. It won't even be big enough for her ass to sit on in a way. I mean, yeah, I could imagine it. <laughs> her butt is bigger than that stool over there. <laughs> Mm. 
I'm I'm not even sure how to react anymore. I mean, I shouldn't be questioning anime logic, but <laughs> yeah, uh, not a fan of the predominantly white color scheme of this figure. <laughs> Moving on to the next one from Bochi the Rock, we have Ikuyo Kita by Good Smile, fourteen thousand three hundred yen. May with this. Yeah, uh, I think I have brought up this topic before where Good Smile's set of Bochi the Rock figures is a bit too simple, like. Too little going on. At least the price reflects that. Uh, do we have a set picture? No. Every figure in this series so far, it feels like, you know, they could have been appropriate else and people would have purchased it anyway. Something like that because they are way too simple for what they are. The best bochi figure, yeah, I mean, Hitori Goto, not this character, would be the one by Aniplex, I think. At least that one has quite a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, Good Smile is playing it a bit too safe over here. Moving on to the next one, oh, by Apex Toys, we have a pair of chocolate and vanilla, vanilla Eden's Dream version from Nekopara, 38,600 yen. Yeah, it makes no sense to buy them separately. You can buy them separately for about 20,600 yen each, but why would you even do that? It feels like something is missing, you know? So you go for the whole set for 38k. Yeah, and that is also slightly cheaper. To me at least, Nekopara has always been about edgy figures, nude figures. I mean, Native made a pair of their figures where you no, know, the clothes are removable and they are holding out their panso like this. So whenever other companies make a safe version of Nekopara figures, they just don't appeal to me that much for some reason. Maybe I'm just being a degenerate because of my long, long, long experience in collecting anime figures. So <laughs> Yeah, I just don't see Nekopara as something safe, even though there are more safe figures of them compared to unsafe ones, yeah. Anyways, this pair of figures are very photogenic, like from the point of view of a photographer over here. You could do an LGBT wedding ceremony diorama and photograph them over there and then they would look amazing, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next figure over here. Ah, here we go. Kikoru Shinomiya from Kaiju Number no. 8 by Kotobukiya under their Art FX J series, only 14,000 yen. For fans of Kaiju Number no. 8, this is a no brainer pre order one, right? And boy, Kotobukiya is giving everyone a spoiler. I mean, for those of us who only watch the anime, those of you who read the manga, you already know that she has this giant axe over there, right? But yeah, we have not reached this stage yet in the anime. So now this thing is <laughs> giving away something important. Maybe that is her custom weapon. Like every character, those with very high power levels in the anime or manga, they get their own custom weapons in a way. Yeah, she is a brute. She is really strong physically, thanks to her suit over there. So, not a surprise, I suppose, for her to get a giant axe, and I am loving it. Oh god, the internet connection is screwing over me again. Oh. That is a decent amount of detail over there for a figure like this that I won't even complain if Kotobukiya doesn't do any shading over here. I mean, this is only 14k. Pick one up, right? Hmm. Who doesn't like Twintia Sundares? Moving on to the next one. Okay, we have a male character over here from uh, Arma Bianca. We have 1 by 8 skill Niji Sanji Hayato Kagami. 16,000 yen coming out in March next year. Now, I heard that there is some big drama going on with this Niji Sanji thing. If you know something, let me know down the comments below. <laughs> uh, but just... Looking at this figure alone, and only the figure itself, I'm not talking about any, anything else related to Niji Sanji, their origins, and what is going on behind the scenes. Man, I feel like I'm looking at the price figure, don't you think? Yeah, one of the worst looking figures this week. Together with the Asuna earlier, I would even say this is worse than that Asuna earlier. <laughs> uh, let's go for a close-up picture over here. There is barely any details on it. Yeah, I could have mistaken this for a price figure, if not for the pricing of the figure itself. This is not good, man. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so now we are going into low-cost figure territory. The first one, pop-up red. L, Elena, yeah. 
the journey of Elena, I mean, she is getting so many figures for some reason. The anime had like one single season, 12 episodes, and then no one is talking about her anymore, except she keeps getting new figures pretty much every month, especially from the price figure side. Uh, Good Smile increased their pricing, didn't they? I mean, Pop-Up Red L is 7,440 yen, to be exact, 8,000 over here. Yeah, they increased it to offset the depreciating currency, presumably. Personally, I would recommend you guys to get the Taito AMP Plus Elena, which is so much better than this one. Maybe the Taito figure is a bit smaller than this one, but detail level and the outfit, no contest, man. Not to mention, she is wearing that magician's hat or a witch hat, right? Yeah, that hat is a very important symbol for a character like Elena, which, uh, who is a witch. So I think that hat must, it is a must for any figures of Elena. So I don't think I can recommend this one unless you are just hoarding Elena figures at this point. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next figure over here. Oh, Shinya Kogami from Psycho Pass. 7,440 yen, but that is after a discount coming out this November. Yeah, I watched all three seasons and the movie as well. Especially the movie, I mean, it felt, it was fun because it reminds me of real life stuff going on in our world over here, you know, like over in Northern Southeast Asia, Cambodia, Myanmar, and so on, which is where the movie was based on. Yeah, we all know how there is civil unrest and all this political stuff going on over there. And the movie portrayed that in a very realistic way, except for being a hundred years in the future. Yeah, like, you know, dictatorship and so on, that kind of stuff. Politics plus warfare. So, I mean, given the amount of real-life reference there was in the movie, that is the main reason why I enjoyed it, yeah. Normally, I would love my anime to be full of pretty bishojos, but that was quite an exception, yeah. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so we have a budget Kikoru Shinomiya from Kaiju number no. 8, 4,000 yen. Of course, if you can get the one by Kotobukiya, if your budget is really low, then this is the next best thing, obviously. Moving on to the next one, another Kaiju number no. 8 figure, Soshiro Hoshina, which is the uh, vice captain. Now, the pose on this one looks so unnatural, like, yeah, I know, she, he pulled up this pose in the anime, in the latest episode from last week. But when being translated into a figure, it just looks so stiff in a way, like, you know, yeah. It looks really stiff and unnatural over here. But what other choices do you guys have anyway? Is he crucial enough, important enough as a character to warrant a skill figure? At the moment, it doesn't feel that way to me, but... I did not read the manga, so I don't know what will happen uh, in the future. So, yeah, that is all I can say. And the last figure here, Mina Ashiro. Yeah, 4,000 yen pop-up rate. Once again, I don't think Kotobukiya is definitely going to make an art FX figure of this one. Just now, yeah, uh, Hoshina, that dude, I'm not too sure, but Mina Ashiro, I'm quite confident there will be a skill figure from Kotobukiya. So you just pick one based on what is your budget range. And that is all for figures on pre-order on HLJ this week. Now we move on to Ami Ami for figures that are not yet listed by uh, HLJ at the time of recording. Yeah, HLJ is always late with Kadokawa stuff. So the first one over here, we have Ria's Grammarine Nurse version from Kadokawa, 20,000 yen coming out in January next year. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this version of Ria's Grammarine. I've seen better figures of her in the past. To be fair though, she is only 20k but I would wait a bit longer because once season 5 of High School DXDS will get more anime figure. Yeah, that is what I think. There are more figures of her announced in the recent event a few months ago that are not yet painted. I would wait for those. Moving on to the next one. Okay, this is not an exclusive either by any master, just that HLJ has not listed it, and boy, this is smoking hot. Coming from any master, we have 1x6 kill Shoyu, Shokuyoku, Majo Liliana, going for 7,500 yen only. Hmm, coming out in March next year. Yeah, this is a must-have for those of you who want cheap but huge 
skill figures. This is a must have. Be weird. I I have reviewed two anime master figures already. Will I review more? Maybe I will be more selective in the future. I won't review every single one of the releases, but yeah, I will buy the ones I like and review only those. This one I'm not too sure yet. I mean, this week I had I have so many poisons. Marine Kitagawa and that Scarlet figure from Nikkei. I need to decide what to pre-order. I can't give this figure too much attention yet. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, another Anime Master figure, Assassin Nico. 1x7 skill, 21,300 yen. Okay, so this is higher quality skill figure, I assume. Anime Master also makes figures that cost 20, 30k or more than that. Not just low cost figures, by the way. Hmm... I assume this is safe to scroll through. Yeah, looks relatively safe to me. I'm not sure if I like this figure. Maybe it is because, you know, the figure feels a bit small. Yeah, I love cat girls, but I'm not sure about this one. Moving on to the next one over here. Uh, from Nocturne, we have SG Original Character Toki Ushimitsu 1x6 kill. Uh, 30,000 yen. Wow. Nocturne, they make they make customable figures, right? I think so. Yes, confirmed that this figure is customable, just that I can't show you guys the picture. 30k for 1x6 skill, this is pretty much uh native territory. I think even native figures are slightly cheaper. They are asking 25, 27k for 1x6 skill at figures. As for this one over here. I would say the design is a bit generic. Quite pretty, I mean, are there even any ugly figures nowadays? Very rare, right? Of course, I'm going to say it is pretty, but that is about it. <laughs> uh, not unique enough for me, for my taste. Next one over here, the second 1x4 skill figure this week from Binding Creator's Opinion, Hakurei 1x4 skill, almost 40,000 yen. Yeah, you can only find this figure on Ami Ami or Ninin Game, nowhere else at the moment. And this one, I mean, yeah, this is a bunny girl, a 1x4 skilled bunny girl again, but at least, you know, the character design is somewhat unique. Not just a, a very shiny black color, white color suit. This is something a bit different, so it might be worth picking up if you like the character design. Yeah. In fact, I would rather you buy something like this over you North know, Free Inks, plain 1x4 skilled bunny girls. Yeah. And the last figure on Ami Ami over here, Tenito Shigure Ui. Uh, 6,800 yen. Wow, everyone is increasing the price, man. From upgrade L, we went for, from 7,000 yen plus to 8,000 yen. And Tenito, they were supposed to be between 5,500 to 6,000 yen. Now this is 6,800. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, is this an original character or is it a VTuber? Let me know something because I have heard of this name Shigure Ui before but I can't remember anything. The only Shigure I know is the one from Kantai Collection. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is all for Ami Ami. Now before we move on to third parties, as usual, we stop by Ninin Game. I have forgotten if I covered this pair of furry figures last week. I can't remember a thing but let me go through them quickly over here. <laughs> Tempting classmate in hit Komugi. <laughs> Very nice title over there. So this is for those of you who love furries, right? Pick one up. Even though it may be risky because this is Beful and Fox Japan, their stuff break very easily. Be warned about that. 1x6 skill, 19k or 27k at 1x4 skill, right? And then there is basically a casted off version. 27k at 1x4, 19k at 1x6 standard. The casted off version is made by Insight somehow. And then the next pair of figures, oh, we have another JK. Uh, lifting her skirt, 1x5 skill. Okay, so this is 20,000 yen only. And then there is a second version over here which looks almost similar, but they are not. The only difference is that this one does not have any panso on, right? So yeah, you get the important parts down there, visible. And yeah. This is made by Insight once again. Beful and Force Japan make the safe version. And yeah, Insight makes the unsafe version. 
And lastly, uh, yeah, for those of you who love lollies, we have Elven Brett Anita 1x4 skill by Insight 27k 1x4 and once again 19, 19k at 1x6 skill. Yeah. And that is all for genuine figures on pre-order this week. Now we move on to third parties. We have a lot of stuff on both sides. So to this, news is a long one. Now uh, we are making use of OzGK once again, which is our affiliate partner. And I have included some links down in the description below. Make use of it as a way of supporting this channel if you're interested in those figures. Alright, so moving on to the first one over here. We have three figures from Spy Family. The first one, Lucky Peanut Studio. Uh, please give me a hug, Anya Forger. Like, what kind of name is that? Okay, uh, 137 US dollars. Where you're getting some kind of diorama alongside the figure, I assume? Yeah, oh wow. I want that pack board behind her. I want it. <laughs> Panoconis. Panasonic. Pan Panoconis. Yeah, I don't care about the figure, man. I want everything behind her. Ah, okay, that explains the... Oh! Let me take back what I just said. I said a 137 is too much, but this is 1x2 skill, half skill. Okay, that is a great price for 1x2 skill, but that is about it. Nothing much going on otherwise. Next one over here, another Anya figure in beach swimwear from Sakura Studio, $79. I'm not sure why third-party figure brands are spamming so many Anya figures. Like, is she really selling that well? I'm not too sure. They have competition from genuine figure brands and also price figures as well. So, I'm not sure why. You wouldn't make things that don't sell, don't you? So, I can only assume that people are actually buying them. And the third one over here, this is actually your forger from... Uh, Waku Waku Studio, $172 at 1x6 scale coming out this September very fast. Just that, uh, I would just settle for the one by Good Smile Company. Uh, your forger in this red color out, uh, outfit with Anya sitting next to her. Yeah, a pair of figures for like 17 or 20,000 yen. Why would I pick up this one? $172 is a lot of money, seriously. I would just get the one by Good Smile and be done with it. If I were to buy a third party Your Forger figure, I would make sure it is something really degenerate, really cultured, like the one made by Dodomo Studio, if you know what I mean. Yeah, otherwise, I wouldn't even bet an eye. Moving on to the next one from RF Studio, we have Black Magician Girl from Yu Gi Oh! She is getting a lot of third party stuff as well. Uh, 1 by 6 skill, 168. And yeah, 168 bucks for everything over here, including the base, I would say, quite fair. Is this car stoppable? There are no Hadaka pictures of her at the moment, so I would assume this is not car stoppable. Moving on to the next one. From Naruto, we have Star Universe Studio Haruno Sakura. The price over there is not yet confirmed, not the real price. 1x6 skill. 1x6 with a figure like this, even if she is car stoppable, I think she would be hovering around the 250 US dollars price range, plus minus, right? Yeah, very nice body sculpt and the face is attractive. For once, right, the third parties, they are doing a really good job with the face over here. A lot of Naruto characters and even One Piece stuff by right, there shouldn't be any issues. Moving on to the next one, okay, from MUK Studio or Milk Studio, we have Android 18 from Dragon Ball. Okay, this one starts from $280 only at 1x4 scale, which is, yeah, great buy. And I would say that $280 standard anime style version is all you need, unless you really want a realistic style face over here, which is actually pretty, right? This is a pretty face, but... If it was me, I don't think I need this one over here, so I would settle for the anime style. You can get both for 333 bucks, but I would save that $50 myself, right? Okay, moving on to the next one. We have three One Piece figures this week. From Face Studio, we have Bonnie. Okay, uh, the price is not yet confirmed, but plus minus $200 or so, and we only have one single picture over here. One by six skill, yeah, sounds about right. And oh, that couch and sofa, so much details on it. 
this is a great looking figure of her. And then the next one, the second one over here from Charles Studio, we have One Piece Yonko Big Mom. Like, okay, anyways, uh, her name is Sulong Carrot, right? Uh, $158 at 1x7. Is this 1x7 or 1x8? Uh, let's see. Height is 27 centimeters. This is about 1x7. Yeah, 1x7. Yeah, she looks kind of cool considering the price point, uh, which is rather low for resin figures. Yeah, she looks great. Only 158 bucks, man. And the third one over here, we have Boa Hancock from Old Timers Joy Studio. Uh, $189 at 1x6 scale coming out in December. Yeah, I think they were making a series of figures with this one, uh, I mean, BNHA looking outfits in a way. There were two other characters with this outfit. Now they are doing Boa Hancock as well, the third one. And yeah. Mm, her face is... I love her face over here. It feels out of character, to be honest. Like, this is not something I would expect uh, to see Boa Hancock in, but she is still very pretty nonetheless. Moving on to the next one. Oh, we have four of them. Okay. And the fourth one here from Hunter Fan Studio, Shira Hoshi from One Piece. Uh, one by four skill, three thirty-two dollars, and one by six skill at two fifty-four. That is a small price difference. Go all out and buy one by four if you like her. Mermaid figure. Like there is a lot of stuff going on, really, for a three thirty-two dollar figure. Alright, let's move on to the next one. We have one single Tifa Lockhart figure from Final Fantasy VII by Shinra Studio. 1x4 skill, almost $400 coming out this December as well. Okay, my only concern is the face. What do, what, what do you guys think about the face, man? What do you think? Like, there are so many... Ah, now we get a closer look. I'm not sure if this is considered good or not. I think she looks decent. But for those of you more experienced Final Fantasy collectors, maybe you guys will be more critical with how you assess the face over here, like whether it is good enough for you. For me, she looks okay, right? Moving on to the next one from Light Team Studio, we have Kyo Ani Saber. That's what I call her, Violet Evergarden. Okay, this one is cheap. 1x6 skill, $191, or 1x4 skill, 282 only. Yeah, not too far off a freeing bunny figure, right? Now, I'll let you guys be the judge. What do you guys think about the face, right? The face is really important. Uh, I don't get to see the face from the front, unfortunately. We only get to see her at an angle over here. I don't think this is the best looking uh, Violet Evergarden figure. The one I covered about two weeks ago. Yeah, the one in white dress. The one looks way better, to be honest. But this is not too bad either. But then, once again, I'll let you guys be the judge. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next one. Okay, Beast Studio. We have Misaka Mikoto from Toaru Kagaku no Real Gun. Okay, uh, normal version, the one you're looking at is almost $400. There is an EX version where I can put on screen. Yeah, this one over here. Uh, 550 more like you're getting two figures in, uh, in one. Two in one, I think, right? Yeah. Needless to say, when I posted this figure on social media, people were laughing at it. And I agree with them because this looks like, what? A uh, generic Korean RPG game character design of some kind. Yeah, they call it the Korean RPG version of Misakata Mikoto. I would say Chinese RPG version are not too far off. Like, what the hell is this, man? Uh, even Misaka Mikoto's mom is prettier than this. I mean, if you have watched the anime, you should know that. <laughs> no, don't. I know there aren't many 1x4 skills of her, but I would rather you buy their 1x4 skill from Free Ink, man. No, don't pick what. Don't buy this one. Okay, next one over here. Wow. This is a licensed resin figure by Creation at Works Studio. Black Clover Noel Silva, 851 bucks at 1x6 skill. 
So basically, you are paying two uh, two hundred and fifty dollars for the figure and another four hundred dollars for all of the effect parts behind her. <laughs> this is absurd. Like, I know that some people love effect parts. I don't blame them, but this is too much. <laughs> this is way too much. Yeah. That figure right there is only one third of the price. I know the dragon head looks really cool with all the LED effect. Presumably there is LED inside, but still can't see myself spending on stuff like this. Moving on to the next one, we have a few Genshin figures followed by a few Honkai figures just like every other week in the past. This one is something I can't really recommend despite the low price of $117 for a 1x6 skill generic Black Bunny Raiden Shogun. I mean, if there were no other Raiden Shogun figures out there, maybe there is a reason to buy it. But the thing is, by now, by today, there are so many third-party figures of her. Look for something nicer, seriously. Something around the $250 range. Yeah, don't go for something too cheap. But don't buy something too expensive either, unless you can afford it. For resin figures, right, the 1x6 skill ones, I would say go for that $250 plus minus range. Yeah, that would be ideal. The stockings, yeah, some people were even saying this is not even real fabric stocking, right? This is painted. And my theory over here is that it is nearly impossible to insert real fabric stocking into resin parts. Yeah, which is why a lot of resin bunny girl figures, they don't come with real stockings compared to PVC figures. Of course, I don't have any proof that it is not doable, but that is what I'm suspecting over here. Moving on to the next Genshin figure over here from Lulan Studio, we have Keqing version A from Genshin Impact. Okay, uh, this time around, Osh GK is separating version A and version B as separate listings, and I think this is the better way to list it. Like, I mean, if you include multiple versions of the same figure in the same listing and let people select which version they want, sometimes it can confuse people. It is best to keep things simple. Yeah. So this one over here, regular version 191, yeah, the one you're looking at on screen and the deluxe version 344. Yeah, this one feels a bit much, but I'll leave it to you to decide should you choose to pick one up. She looks great regardless of which one you look. And I mean, it is quite difficult for some of you to decide whether to buy something like this or not because Apex Toys already has an amazing figure of Keqing, which is not too expensive. Yeah. Uh, normally, we buy third party because we want the lewd parts, right? Now, we are getting all this for 344 bucks. So, this might be special enough to warrant uh, your attention. Yeah. Oh, that is a really good face. This is really good. Alright, let's move on to the next one. This is version B from the same studio. Okay, uh, this one comes with cast of a parts if you are into that. So, the standard version or one, you get to choose between two head sculpts. One head sculpt 187 and two head sculpts 226. Alright. So, that is a lot of figure for $200. I mean, you're getting an entire tree base over here. I still prefer version A because I love details and this one, she is just you no know, wearing a plain purple dress. Yeah, I would go for the version A and even the deluxe version. Yeah, this looks fantastic actually. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have another art theft of the week. So last week, we uh, I showed you guys this one figure of Firefly from Halo Studio, which was stolen art and <laughs> the artist was complaining about it on Twitter or X. And guess what? Another figure brand went ahead and did the same thing right <laughs> here. I'm waiting for a third figure brand to steal the very same art so that I can do a Spider-Man meme where the three Spider-Mans are pointing at each other. Look, we are stealing from each other. Yeah. I am reporting this simply because this is figure news, fix, right? This is news. Something comes out, whether it is stolen or not, I, I let you guys know, but it doesn't mean I recommend you guys to buy it. Yeah, please don't. Next figure over here, we have one single figure from Zenless Zone Zero, Ellen Joe by Neta Studio. Almost sounds like Peta to me. I'm not sure if that is a good name, you know, that animal rights group that everyone hates. 
This is one by seven skill, a hundred and seventy dollars, and probably one of the safer looking figures of Ellen Jo. So far, there are a few other figures of her, not many, but a few, where the figure brands just did something really cultured with her. Yeah. Not a very detailed figure, but I suppose that at $170 can't ask for much, right? Even more so at 1 by 7 scale. Mm. I would say I can't recommend it even though it is quite cheap because, hey, once the game comes out, uh, you wait for all those more well-established brands to make their own version of the figure, then you decide. Yeah. Moving on to the next one over here from Blue Archive, we have Asuma Toki Cat version by G Studio. Okay, so 1x6 skill is going for 187 and 1x4 skill 296. So, is this car stoppable? I'm inclined to believe this might be. Yes, she is. I just took a quick peek at the images at the bottom. Yeah, Asuma Toki is really popular. So, this is going to sell quite a bit. To me, this is a bit too plain as well. Yeah. Like, come on, man. This is available up to 1x4 scale. Do some shading on the hair. This is like plain blonde. Yeah, with no shading at all. Way too little effort. Moving on to the next one. We have something smoking hot over here. Like, the sculpting is just perfect. Uh, the face, I still prefer my Max Factory version figure when it comes to her face. I know subjective, but... To me, it is really hard to beat the one made by Max Factory when it comes to the face sculpt. Not to say this is bad, I think this one looks fine as well. And out of Eden Studio, their figures are actually quite decent overall, right? Now, I really hope that this is 1x4 scale, but nothing is confirmed yet. This is an early bird pre-order. Even the price over there is just a placeholder. That is not the real price, but... Uh, this is the promotional picture, and she is looking very attractive already. Yeah. I won't complain if it is 1x6, but it would be even better in 1x4. That is what I'm saying. Moving on to the next one. Okay, uh, from Arctic Wolf Studio, we have Honkai Impacted Wedding Dress Series, the second figure in this series, Raiden Mei. Okay, uh, this one, standard version, is actually going for $272, and then there is an R18 version, which is the one you're looking on screen, and you can buy a set for $500. So why am I showing you guys the R18 version? Because I'm lazy to edit the video, you know? They have already pre-censored the picture for me in advance. Meanwhile, the standard version is like there is so little cloth covering her opai, so I'm not sure if I can show it on screen. It is ridiculous, I know. YouTube is ridiculous. Anyways, if you want a figure of Raiden Mei in wedding dress, maybe this is worth considering. Yeah. Arctic Wolf Studio, they have been around for a long time. There are many pictures of their existing released figures out there. Go and find them. And then if you like their quality, go ahead and pre-order it. Yeah. Moving on to the next one over here from Alice 21 Studio. We have Honkai Impacted Deep Sea Cat Swimsuit. Kiana Kaslana. Okay, so this one is up to $206. Only really cheap. At 1x6 skill. Okay, so standard version starts at, come on, okay, uh, starts at 187, and then there's an upgraded version, uh, of course, cost of about 206, and then there is even an accessory package, oh, what do you think about the face options over here, I'm not sure if I like the second face over here, mm, she looks okay, but nothing too special really. Okay, moving on to the next one over here. This is the worst third-party figure of this week. Oh god, the face is so bad. <laughs> Goblin from Honkai Studio by Kintsugi Studio. Come on, seriously, you guys expect to sell this for three hundred dollars? Yeah, maybe, maybe the Chinese figure collectors over in China are already roasting this figure for the past week or so. And maybe they'll announce a change on this figure later on. Maybe, right? No way, man. I mean, I have seen a couple of Robin figures from previous weeks that are already on pre-order. And this looks nothing like those two, man. This is bad. <laughs> like, is her face a bit too elongated in a way? Like, you know, very triangular in a way? Yeah, it looks that way to me. <laughs> 
the face is just so weird. I would say even the entire head is elongated. I mean, you guys can imagine it, right? Like from the forehead on top over here, all the way down to the chin, it is like the entire head is very oval in shape. Yeah, something is really wrong with the sculpt over here. Moving on to the next one from your whole studio, we have Akeron from Hongai Star Wheel. Ah, I think a month ago, almost every week, we had a few Akeron figures every week. Then suddenly, Akeron has gone completely silent. Now we have one over here. Okay, so this one regular version is going for $533 at 1x4 scale. And there is a deluxe version with Hadaka parts for $639. Just that, nope. This is a tough sell when there are so many prettier figures of her already at 1x4 scale by other brands. I find it hard to recommend this one with a realistic face. Like what people who commented in my Facebook page said, generic Korean and Chinese RPG game face. Yeah. I'm not the only one disliking them, you see. Many people dislike them. Moving on to the next one, perhaps the style of the week when it comes to third-party figures. A bit overkill, in fact. Uh, Imagination Studio Firefly from Hongkai Star Wheel. Wow. The thing is that the pricing is not too bad, you know. Uh, okay, so Broken Mecha version, or this one over here, is $254. The game version, $254 as well. Broken Mecha with Sam behind her, $413. And then game version with Sam, $413 as well. And you can buy only Sam for $344. Why would you even do that? Yeah, this is incredible indeed. To me, uh, to me, right, Imagination Studio is veering towards a path that I would not like them to do. Like, they are going overboard with every single Hongkai figure they make, like, they have this Raiden Shogun with this huge thing behind her. And now they are doing the same thing with Firefly. I don't like this direction they are taking. Like, they are, they are doing too much, right? At least they are offering a simple version, like a plain version for those of us who don't want to pay extra for the figure. So I do appreciate that. Yeah, personally, I would be happy with this version over here, the game version. I would be happy with this one. This looks really good already, right? Hmm. Yes, this is absolutely the star of the week. This looks amazing. Moving on to the next one. Oh, a trap, but... <laughs> this is a trap. This is a dude, apparently. Uh, ACY Studio, Taimanin, Homare, Nao. Yeah, the reason why I'm covering this is because this is... This looks female, even though he is not. <laughs> okay, so 1x4 skill uh, starts from $533 and then there are those chin chin parts and so on where you can it can go up to $965 if you buy both as a set, right? Anyways, yeah, not something I would buy for sure. I am covering it simply because number one, this... It looks female in a way, even though it is not. And number two, this is from Taimanin series, which is relatively popular lately. Yeah, even the genuine figure brands are making Taimanin figures. Next one. Okay, the last six or seven figures, we have cultured stuff. Now we're starting off with something very tame. I'm not sure if I can call this tame, but still. Uh, you, I mean, if you love to loot your lollies, then here you go. We have Shellfish Studio, Nahida and Klee. Uh, $150 each at 1x6 kill, or you can get a set for $274. Yeah, <laughs> even at 1x6 kill, these are not big figures. I know you will quietly hit that pre order button, but you wouldn't say it out loud in public. <laughs> okay, uh, moving on to the next one over here from Cellulite Studio. We have this thing called Crow. Is that an original? Oh. No, this is from uh, Goddess of Victory Nikkei. How can I not know her, man? Yeah, this figure is pretty, just that I'm not too fond of this figure because I want my Nikkei figures to be highly detailed when it comes to their outfits and holding a huge rifle, a huge firearm like a real American would, you know? So, <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is not my kind of Nikkei figure, unfortunately. Ordinary version is $255, and then there is a Hadaka version going for the same price. But the Hadaka version, she comes with arguably a more attractive face expression and a tank of milk over there. 
literally milking the cow. Yeah. <gasps> Moving on to the next one over here. Oh, we have another cultured Jing Liu figure, and I've no idea <laughs> why they would even make something like this. Like, why would you want a Hadaka Jing Liu figure with her head stuck inside a washing machine? <laughs> Anyways, this is from CZ Studio. Only uh, $111 and 1x6 scale. Still, no, stay away from this. Why would you buy something like this? Please don't. Save your hard earned money for something decent. Next one, okay, from Circle Max Studio, we have Blue Archive Rabbit Kasumizawa Miyo. <laughs> There is actually something covering her chest and also down there, more like she's just showing you her panso, which is removable, but still. Uh, this is apparently non-skill figure, so there are, there are not many details yet so far. I'm not too fond of this figure, to be honest. Moving on to the next one, we have Dolphin Studio Neon Genesis Evangelion Asuka and Rei, 279 each, right, at 1x5 skill, 1x5. But still, I mean, their, their face just looks weird AF and there are so many other better Eva figures out there already. So, no, can't recommend this one as well. Next one here from Shadow Studio with another Ayanmi Ray figure. Yeah, this one reminds me of Ghost in the Shell quite a bit. Very interesting. And I would love everything else except the figure. Yeah, uh, this is 1x6 kill. Very nice size for almost $300. I want everything else except the figure for photography reasons, you know. I want a few of those sleeping chambers, in fact. And the last figure for today, <laughs> I'm always saving the best one for the last to see. This one actually went on pre-order on late Saturday, a week ago. Yeah, so I missed out on her after filming last week's episode, but still... <laughs> this is only $208 and we have Fern in this compromised position over here and pansu over her head man <laughs> to say that i'm not interested i would be lying to you guys like i normally don't buy figure just for the sake of the lewdness of it but this is something i am genuinely interested in fern is not even my kind of girl i don't like uh women with giant opais but somehow this figure appeals to me so much <laughs> Anyways, yeah, check her out, right? Check her out, you might like her. And that is all for figures on pre-order this week. Which one will you pre-order? Let me know down in the comments below. For me, my top two figures this week, top three, make it top three, would be Marin Kitagawa, A Gear from Any Game, and also Scarlet from Good Smile Company. And yeah, that edge uh that edgy fun figure at the end of today's video that is also near the top five my favorite this week. Yeah, if you found this video entertaining in any way, please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel for anime figure contents, and until then, I'll see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.